back in the action here at Shamrock Fighting Championships is coming up next. It is Junior Mitch Oisi out of Micronesia taking on Fernando Andrade. Let's bring in our next bout of the evening, Fernando Andrade. Coming to the cage, it is Fernando Andrade by way of the Caveman Crew. Now he is a hard hitting Mexican style boxer who has heavy hands, trains alongside Bellator veteran Rudy Bears and the others at the Caveman Crew. Now Fernando needs to stay long in this fight. He is a much taller fighter against Junior Michoisi, so we should see how that plays out with it. He definitely needs to use that reach. Yeah. Fernando wants to keep his range and he wants to fire off those punches. He is a strong puncher and he wants to use that. He's gonna try and get a knockout tonight in the cage. Yeah, he is also in extremely good shape. So as this fight goes long, we'll see how his cardio plays out. Let's bring out his opponent, Junior Michiotze. Coming to the cage, it is Junior Michiotze. He is coming to us by way of St. Joseph BJJ and is making his mixed martial arts debut tonight. Now, the former wrestler has been in the gym and working for a long time. He said that BJJ and MMA, though, is his life now and been training that long. He says he's ready to go as we get ready here for our Supplement Superstore's Tale of the Tape. Junior Mitchell Easy, 28 years old, 5'8", 148.2 pounds. Fernando Andrade, 26 years old, 5'11", 144.8 pounds. Fernando will have a definitive reach advantage here in this fight. This is gonna be your, your typical striker versus grappler match. Mitchell Easy wants to get this fight to the ground as soon as he can. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighs in at 144.8 pounds, fighting out of Lenexa, Kansas, Fernando Andrade. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. He weighs in at 148.2 pounds. Fighting out of Macronesia Junior, Michiha <laughs> Referee Mike Anglin has the call for this fight. A quick touch of the gloves here. We see Junior taking the center, but coming in forward is Andrade landing a big head kick to start the fight. Answered right back by Junior. Quick duck under looking to get this fight to the ground. Nice takedown there out of Junior, but looking to roll is Andrade. Right into the mounted position ends up Mitchell Easy. Look at the strength there though out of Fernando Andrade to reverse that into the guard position here. Looking armbar, armbar looking. Andrade stepping over like he should. They're taking that position. Gets back into almost a guard there. Back Trying. into it now. Looking for triangle position. Nice little scrambling there out of both fighters. Now Andrade looking for the armbar. Michuisi looking to pass out of it. Settles back into full guard of Andrade. But that was an excellent scramble out of both fighters in the first minute of this fight. Andrade looking for that again, that potential triangle position or arm bar here from the bottom. This fight is three rounds. We are looking at Andrade in the blue, Junior in the red. Michuisi is going to want to posture up shortly here. Andrade's really creeping those legs up, trying to work, some, work a triangle or an arm bar. Halfway through the first round. Andrade working for that arm bar here, trying to turn the hips. Getting stacked though, is it from Junior? 
And Mitsuishi doing a good job of defending the submission attempts from Andrade. And you're doing very good with that last name, Kevin. Both last names are a little tough, but we're, we're working with them. <laughs> Ground and pound now coming out of Mitsuishi. Andrade caught Mitsuishi with a punch from the bottom that looked to rock the head of Mitsuishi a bit. Nice job by Mitsuishi passing in the half guard. It's an open half guard. He could probably pass in the side control pretty easily if he chose to. But being a wrestler here with 30 seconds left, he's happy to stay in this position and start to do damage. Andrade doing a decent job here though, controlling those arms to not eat as many shots as he probably could from this position. Yeah, Andrade's done, done a, a pretty good job off of his back tonight. Mitsuishi's been very aggressive from top position. 10 seconds remaining here in the first round of this three round contest. End of the round, Kevin, how do you see that one so far? I'm gonna give that 10-9 Mitsuishi. I think he controlled the top position more. Neither, neither fighter did a ton of damage. Both had some pretty solid submission attempts, but both defended well. Now, if you are in the corner here of Andrade, you spent most of the time on the bottom, what kind of advice are you giving him as we go to our Latha Toyota instant replay? Yeah, excellent armbar attempt here out of Mitsuishi, which was defended by Andrade. You know, if I'm in the corner of Andrade, I want him to keep the distance a little bit better. Crouch down a little more on your punches so you can defend that takedown. The reason Mitsuishi got the takedown is because he ducked under a punch of Andrade. You gotta be a little quicker with the punches, maybe take a little power off so you can, you can defend that takedown a little bit better when it comes. Round two underway. Quick touch of the gloves here again. Mitchell Easy on his horse a bit back there as Andrade lands the punches. Both fighters seem extremely loose here, Kevin. Yeah, both fighters are one round in. They had some good scrambles. Both got fighters ready to go. Both fighters also in good shape. Straight front kick coming out of Andrade. Big leg kick there coming out of Fernando. Eats a punch though coming through. Nice right hand from Andrade lands on the, the chin of Michiosi. Going up top. He stumbled. Scrambles out the back. Looking for a potential heel hook. Mitsuishi trying to scramble. Nice defense here. Yeah, Mitsuishi's going to end up in the top position here. Andrade needs to give up this heel hook and start working back to half guard. Junior working heavy in the top position now. Andrade has not let go of that leg though. It's about to come out. There it is. This ends up being a bad position here for Fernando. Ends up in side control. Now Andrade wants to turn towards Mitsuishi. He doesn't want to turn away. He's going to give up the mount that way. Now Andrade scrambles. No hooks in for Mitsuishi. One hook in now. Two hooks in there for Junior. This is exactly the position he wants to be in. We now see Fernando starting to fight the hands a bit, trying to land some punches. Fernando's chin is way up. He's gonna wanna tuck that chin to defend that rear naked choke attempt. 30 seconds. Fernando trying to 
to fight the hands here as Mitchell Easy looking for that rear naked choke with only 13 seconds remaining. A good job by Andrade fighting the choke, the rear naked choke attempt of Mitchell Easy. I think he's going to survive the round. A very tough round there, though, for Fernando Andrade. Yeah, again, though, I don't think he was hurt by anything. Uh, I think Mitsuisi clearly won it with the back position, uh, the attempted uh, rear naked choke, but it was all defended well by Andrade. I don't think he was in danger of being submitted at any point in that round, but he did lose the round pretty clearly. Yeah, it was, it was more a positional fight that we saw here out of Mitsuisi to take that. Yeah, that all started with the head kick attempt of Andrade. He knocked himself off balance a bit. He gave an easy takedown to Mitsuisi. So if you are in the corner here of Junior, what advice are you going to give him to try to finish off this fight? You know, I, I think he's he's having good success in the stand-up, but he's down two rounds. I think he needs to go for the knockout now. Third and final round here, Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Kevin Angle. Let's go. Fernando, big kick to start off the round. Answered right back though by Junior with the hands. Looking for the takedown is Mitchell Easy. Looks like Andrade's looking for a guillotine. Mitchell Easy's trying to fight the hands on the guillotine of Andrade. Andrade trying to finish this fight here. And that's what he has to do. He has to look for ways to finish this fight, whether it's knocking out Mitchell Easy, whether it's submitting him. He's got to go for everything. Yeah. I believe he's down two rounds to none. I agree. He's got a very tight body triangle here also, trying to finish this fight. Nice reverse into the mounted position out of Fernando Andrade. Junior gives up the back. Both hooks in here coming out of Fernando. He's going to want to flatten out Mitchell Easy and pound away. This is a bad position for Junior. Plenty of time left here, rolling to take the back, looking for that choke. Mitsuisi's gonna wanna put his back flat to the mat and turn into Andrade. Andrade still maintaining that top position. Plenty of time to work here. Two hooks in and this is terrible. He's gonna flatten him down. Mitsuisi could work back to half guard here if he turns into Andrade. Halfway through the third and final round, we see Fernando Andrade on top of Junior Mitsuisi. Again, more punches coming out of Andrade. His corner is screaming for bombs. Yeah, again, I, I think Andrade needs to finish this round unless he can do so much work that he gets a 10-9 round, or I'm sorry, a 10-8 round. He needs, to, he needs to try and finish this fight. One minute remaining here in the third and final round, trying to lock up the arm. Yeah, Andrade's gonna fall off into an arm bar here. He needs to put the knee on the head. Andrade looking for that arm bar finish. is being very relaxed, not rushing. Taking his time, defending everything Andrade throws at him. Here comes that armbar attempt. Very calm in this position is Junior Michiosi. Good pressure out of Michiosi. Take some of the pressure off. He's just pressuring into Andrade, which is not giving him any room to work for these submissions. 10 seconds remaining here in the contest. Michiosi escapes that position, ends up in north-south, steps over at the end of the round. I give that round 10-9 to Andrade, but I still think Michiosi takes it two rounds to none. The only thing is how controlling, how dominating was Andrade in that third round? Will any of the judges give him a 10-8 round? A 10-8 round is hard to get, though, so it, it's, a, it's a tough one to call. But again, as you said, I see this one two rounds to one. Great show of respect there out of both competitors. We still have more action to come. Is coming up in our co-main event of the evening. We will see Matt Udi, Bellator veteran, taking on Mad Max McNeely in a heavyweight bout. 
Gotta love it when the heavyweights throw down. But first, we go to our Olathe Toyota instant replay here as we see the reversal out of Fernando Andrade. Ends up taking the back here of Junior and just lands the bombs. Yeah, Andrade was doing everything he could to try and finish this fight. Tried to flatten out Mitsuishi. Mitsuishi just did a great job of defending all the submission attempts and the ground upon attempts out of Andrade. A great fight for the second one here at Ameristar Casino. So let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bayer to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards this evening, Judge A scores the bout 29 to 28 blue corner. Judge B scores the bout 29 to 28 red corner. And Judge C scores the bout 27 to 30. Your winner by split decision out of the blue corner this evening, Fernando Andrade. Fernando Andrade taking the win here out of the blue corner. Kevin, by a split decision, explain what that means. So a split decision is one judge had, had it two rounds to one for Michiosi. One judge had it two rounds to one for Andrade, and then one judge had it three rounds to none for Andrade, which I'm gonna disagree with that scorecard. I agree I also it, that that was, I did not see him winning all three rounds at all. Uh, I mean, two rounds to one either way I can see, uh, but Michiosi I, I thought was pretty clear winner of, of at least one of the rounds. I thought it was pretty clear winner of two rounds, but. Great fight though, we have more to come and we'll be right back right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships live from Ameristar Casino.